using the GBox Digital Imaging System. The GBox is controlled using the SynGene GeneSys software on the computer to the left of the digital darkroom. To access the GeneSys software, select the icon to the upper left of the computer screen. The status of the digital darkroom can be found to the bottom of the screen. Hovering over the digital darkroom icon allows you to see details of the status. A green check mark indicates that the darkroom is ready for use. The G-Box is capable of capturing images from a variety of gel or blot types, DNA agarose gels, DNA acrylamide gels, RNA agarose gels, RNA acrylamide gels, visible protein gels, fluorescent protein gels, and stain-free gels. For blots, there is a Kimi Rapid and a Manual Kimi Blot option, as well as Kimi Blot in series with possible signal accumulation calculator, fluorescence blot, visible blots, and stain-free blots. We can delve into any of these menu options to get more details about what are available on our instrument. For example, agarose gels allow use of ethidium bromide, gel green, gel sir, propidium iodide, and more. Deselect the recent selections option to the bottom right to see all possible options on our instrument. This is of particular interest for fluorescence. As our instrument allows use of alexaphores from 350 at the blue end of the emission spectrum to 750 all the way up at the near infrared emission spectrum. To capture your data image, select either gel or blot from the menu. Kimi Rapid is the most commonly used menu item. The digital darkroom will immediately begin an exposure and ask for any needed anti reflective screens. To stop this process and unlock the digital darkroom, select Stop. You can then insert any needed anti-reflective screens and your gel or blot using the white light camera to position it accurately. The button to the right hand side of the digital darkroom is used to open the door. Anti-reflective screens are found on the right hand side on the countertop. Insert the correct anti-reflective screen and position your gel or blot, again using the watt light camera. Then gently close the digital darkroom door. Exposure calculations will immediately begin and can be seen on the status icon. Select your image to see the final exposure. Sliding bars to the left-hand side of the screen can be used to zoom in, pan around your image to see things in detail, and then zoom back out. Other sliding bars can be used to adjust the white point or the black point to accurately affect both brightness and contrast. Be sure to save your images before exiting. Use save to save your data as a .sgd file. This is SimGene's proprietary file type that contains all of your metadata. You may save your file either to a folder that has a date and investigator name or to your own thumb drive. Folders saved to this computer will be deleted each month, so be sure to back them up as soon as possible. You may also export your images using Save As. Images can be exported as other TIFFs, BMPs, or JPEGs, though JPEGs are not recommended as compression results in data loss. Also be sure to increase your resolution to a minimum of 300 dots per inch to ensure your images have adequate resolution for printing. Again, save either to a folder with your name and date or to your own thumb drive and give your file a name that you can remember.
You are now ready to analyze your data using GeneTool software on either the core facility computer or your own PC.